Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to another episode here on the Jeep's Footage Garage. Today we're going to be working on my wife's 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee. This thing is pretty filthy. We haven't washed it in a couple of weeks, maybe months. Uh, we've been so busy working on all these project cars, uh, the little series that we had on a 2008 Serato that we did lifters on and we paint corrected and did the whole detail on that. So that took a couple of weeks of my time and i just been really, really busy with the fam and work. So I've been really neglecting my own cars. So I needed something that was going to be quick, right? Something like this Shine Armor Spray Wax Quick Coat. Um, so I reached out to Shine Armor uh, to try out their spray wax. Uh, this is a Brazilian Carnival wax with uh, polymers and fillers. So this should, in theory, keep my truck looking wet and protected in between car washes. Um, and it's something that we could do really, really quickly. So I'm excited to try it out. And uh, I'm excited to tell you guys my thoughts and review of this product. All right, guys, as you guys can see here, this thing is super, super filthy. So I haven't washed this thing in months. So I mean, look at that, guys. It is really, really disgust. So yeah, guys, so this thing is very, very filthy. So what I'm going to do now first is I'm going to give this thing a really, really good scrub down. I'm gonna go ahead and dry it, and then we're gonna go ahead and, and try out that that uh, quick wax. Um, and I'll walk you guys through the process of that. So let's get busy. All right, guys, so since this thing has been neglected for quite a bit and has a lot of dirt, we're gonna go ahead and hit it with the foam cannon real quick, break down some of the dirt, rinse that off, and then we'll put a mitt on it. And now I'm gonna rinse off all this dirt and grime off of it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now that we have um, put some suds on this thing and rinsed off the majority of the dirt, we could safely put our, our mitt on there. So let's go ahead and give this thing the scrub down of its life and uh, we'll dry it up. All right guys, well that was a healthy scrub down. Uh, pretty simple, just regular wash and dry. So we have two microfibers here, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and rip off the tag. I'm gonna fold these, these guys into four squares. All right, give this guy a good shake. And uh, this stuff is a uh, Brazilian wax, so it should be really good. Um, and those uh, polymer fillers should really help out with uh, you know, protecting the paint from all those uh, bird poops and elements and stuff. But hey, let's put it to the test. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give this guy, oh, oh, the bottle has a lock. Oh, nice, never seen that before. Cool. All right, we're gonna give this guy a good little mist and then we're gonna spray this bad boy on here and we're gonna go ahead and rub it off. Rub it on, I should say, rub on. And initial thoughts, guys, it's pretty thick, actually. For a spray-on wax, my experience is that they're kind of like weak because then they clog up the bottle. But this one is actually pretty thick, not bad. And it hazes up pretty quickly. Let's go ahead and add some on the, on the vinyl here. And let's go ahead and buff on. Well, it's going on pretty nice instant results I should say darkens the wrap really well all right so now we're gonna go ahead and flip it to our dry side buff it off and I gotta say guys it comes off really really easy and damn damn it's good oh yeah it's good hell yeah oh wow for a, for a freaking spray wax this is a business right here. Pretty damn good, I should say. Wow. Okay, check it out, guys. Check that out, guys. Damn. That is magnificent. Wow. Look at that, guys. And you could definitely see the difference in color. A lot darker here 
versus the faded look right here. See the difference? Kind of hard to tell. Hopefully the camera picks it up. But this side that we sprayed is a lot darker. Um, and this side is a lot drier. So it definitely worked, worked magic on our vinyl here. Look at that. Really nice. Okay, guys. And this is our, our stock side that we didn't touch. Um, it's still pretty shiny because, I mean, my car is... Even though it's neglected, I always take care of the paint. Like, I don't go to car washes and stuff. So it's pretty good. But it's definitely not as shiny as this side. This side is really shiny. It's crazy. Um, definitely, uh, there's definitely a difference, I got to say. It's definitely a difference. Uh, hopefully, the camera could pick it up. And, uh, yeah. But um, I'm very pleased on how easy it is. That is my... That's the biggest thing that I like about this this wax. It's easy. It sprays on easy, comes off easy. That's that's what you want in a quick wax. Um, and like I said, guys, I don't have a lot of time to do my own car, especially like the wife's car or my daily. Like, yeah, I take out like my race car and stuff and I, I wash and detail those and spend five, 10 hours on those. But these guys, they get neglected. So I need something like this that's gonna give me superior uh, protection and shine really quickly. So. I gotta give it two thumbs up guys but let's go ahead and finish up the rest of the car and let's see how this baby looks when it's done so let's go ahead and give this thing a spray down and look how thick it is guys it's so thick that it like right away you can see it over the white paint all the yellow pretty thick all right and now we're gonna go ahead and rub this thing on Give this thing a spray down. Miss the microfiber. And one thing I will mention, guys, it's pretty friendly to the plastics. It's not, it's not hazing it up, at least not yet. So we'll find out right now. Oh yeah, looks good. I gotta say, guys, this is definitely one of those waxes that you can. Uh, Tell your wife, hey, I'm gonna wax the car before dinner's ready and actually get it done. <laughs> and your plate's not gonna get cold because this thing goes on and comes off really easy. So, pretty neat. I like it. Let's go ahead and finish up the car. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, let's go ahead and do this side. Now they tell you on the bottle to work like a three by three section, but I like to storm through my cars when I wash them. And especially if I'm doing like a spray uh, style wax and detailer. So that's what I'm doing. Just like I wash all my cars and I'm getting exceptional results. Right. well i'm done it was pretty quick guys uh this thing goes on easy comes off easy and gives me a pretty good shine it gave it a really good shine i should say and yeah i like to always make sure to put some uh detailers some quick wax after i wash my cars just to protect it from the elements and i think uh this stuff is gonna work out for me i like it i like how easy it went on and how easy it went off and i like the results so i have to give it two thumbs up guys uh i think we're gonna give this one the cheese footage seal of approval two thumbs up but with that being said guys i'm working on a lot more videos for you guys uh the chevelle should be coming back home today or tomorrow um i've been so busy with all these other builds that i actually had it at my dad's house it wasn't even here so we're gonna go ahead and bring that bad boy back and start wrenching on that and we have some track days coming up with the camaro too so stay tuned guys um hope you guys enjoyed all these small series that i've been doing along the way but uh, we'll be back with some racing content soon. Later, guys.